Hi everybody, Don Valance here with another two minute tutorial, this one featuring Animation Store Creator, an application that comes with both NewTek TriCaster and 3Play. It's used to create transitional effects and animated buffers. Now in previous tutorials, I showed you how to make a few different types of transitions. Today we're gonna take a look at how to make an animated buffer. So from Animation Store Creator, we go to our effect type and we choose Animated Buffer. And then we're gonna load an image sequence that we wanna use as our buffer. Now, this is gonna have a logo with a reflective glint going across it. And I rendered this in Lightwave. We'll go ahead and open this up and we are going to find our content. And I've got my frames here. Now, you should, Really limit your frames to about 300, your, your frame sequences to about 300 frames if that's possible. You can go up to 600, but anything over 300, you're really gonna start to push the amount of memory it's gonna take in system memory. This one is over 300, and watch, when I go to load it, it even gives me a warning saying anything over 300 frames or longer could be very large. So instead of loading that, I actually have another image sequence of the exact same files, just a much shorter version of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the short version here, and then you'll see it just loads them up. I don't get that requester. The other thing that you need to remember is when you're creating your graphics, think about what you're going to use them for. If this graphic is gonna be used as a full screen right in the center overlay, then this would be appropriate. But if this is going to be used in an animated bug down in the corner, you want to create it as an animated bug down in the corner. Because a large graphic like this that is then scaled down and positioned inside of the TriCasters using more system memory than a small graphic made to be in the corner would be using. When you render this out, any pixels that are not being used here are actually thrown away. So you throw away a lot more pixels if that graphic is shrunk down here in the corner. So once you get the graphic to the appropriate size, now I'm ready to go ahead and again, select an icon for the graphic, select a quality level for that. And there are three different types of animated buffers you can make. You can make one that will play through your image sequence and stop and hold on the last frame. You can play one that loops. And you could play one that will ping pong and go back and forth between the first frame and the last frame. And this would be good for, say, making a logo that rocks back and forth. You can just do animation of one rock and then ping pong it and it will rock back and forth all day long. Once we have that all set up, we're ready to go ahead and save and export out to the TriCaster. Let's go ahead out to the TriCaster and take a look at the different types of animated buffers. So here in DSK1, we have a looping anim buffer, and this is a full screen overlay as well. It completely uh, takes over the entire screen, blocks out what's in the background when I'm using in, in this DSK, and it is a looping animation. It was a seamless loop, so it'll just sit here and play all day long. Now, another type is our build once and stop. And that's really great for things like building a graphic on screen. I run it and the graphic animation builds through the sequence and then holds the last frame. And then I can just use auto on the DSK here to dissolve it out. And here's the example of the effect that we made when we were out there in Animation Store Creator. You might see that the glints are jumping around a little bit. That's because I chose just a portion of the frames, not all of the frames, because I wanted a short anim buffer. Um, so again, if I would have just made this uh, loopable inside of Lightwave, the reflection, which is totally doable, then this would be a seamless loop as well. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And if you have any topics that you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. We'll see you again real soon with another two-minute tutorial.